Day Redemption City Church. It's Connor with Praying the Psalms Together. This is our ninth psalm that we're praying, and it is Psalm 73. What a joy it was to hear the preaching of the word that God satisfies all of our desires. So let's go to him in Psalm 73 right now. Truly, God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. God, this is who you are. You are good and you do good. We know that we do not deserve this. God, as Jesus gave the blessing, blessed are those who are pure in heart for they shall see God. Only are we pure in heart through Jesus who is the one and only pure man your Savior that died for our sins and rose for our justification and gives us life, gives us this hope. And yet, here we are, as the psalmist goes on. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. God, you know our hearts. How we are prone to wander and prone to leave the God we love. How we look at the world and desire the things of the world and the prosperity. And it is so fleeting. But God, that's where we are. We are fickle. And we need you, God, to draw us out of that. To keep our feet from stumbling and slipping. So, Lord, may we, as this psalmist um, acknowledges that he he was envious of the wicked and walked through all of the depravity of his own heart and the depravity of the wicked, that he went in verse 16, when I thought how to understand this, it seemed to me a wearisome task until I went into the sanctuary of God. Then I discerned their end. God, only when we are in your presence through your church, your redeemed people, and led into your scriptures by your spirit, are we able to see that the end of the wicked is destruction. But how we can find hope and life in Christ And then we can pray, Lord, that you would keep the wicked from ruin and destruction, that you would save those who are lost, God, ourselves included. We need you to keep us, to hold us fast, to show us Christ, that we would not trespass in your garden, but that we would encounter you and be welcomed into the garden because Christ took on the flaming sword of judgment and now welcomes us at your table that we though we have become brutish and ignorant and like a beast towards you verse 23 nevertheless I am continually with you you hold my right hand you guide me with your counsel and afterward you will receive me to glory whom have I in heaven but you and there is nothing on earth that I desire besides you. God, satisfy our desires by giving us more of yourself. You have given us your son, so you promise that you who did not spare your own son, but gave him up for us all, how will you not also with him graciously give us all things? And we are truly blessed in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places that one day you will bring us into glory so right now God may we have this sole pursuit of desiring you above all not letting the world's pleasures distract us but that we would enjoy them to your glory and when they are taken away that we would give thanks to you and desire you most of all God My flesh and my heart may fail, but God 
is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Lord, that is good news that you are our strength. You are our portion. You will give us exactly what we need and you will sustain us, Lord. So Lord, help us to cling to you and to declare all your works that are wonderful and great. So you get all the praise, we get joy, and it is to the good of others, God. So fill us with your spirit that we would be satisfied in Christ alone. We pray in his powerful name. Amen. Thanks, Redemption City Church. Time always goes too fast, but it is a joy to pray these psalms to, together with you. Grace and peace to you.